Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. And this is a series of flying trips to every country in the world. In this video, we will be flying from Washington to Havana, which stops in Charleston and Orlando. This, this flight will be in three parts. Each stop is a part. So let's get going. We've got our parking brake off. And slowly, we will also be taking a short detail. We were to fly over Washington. I want to go to the long and impossible boat. Because we wanted to take a look at some landmarks. I wanna say that's the Pentagon. Mainly because 
Oh, there's a water memorial. Because it's not in our shape. Yeah, it is. Okay, we're gonna turn our engines off and flap down. And we're not gonna do landing here. Because we're not landing. Okay, so I know that is a memorial. I'm not sure which one. Again. Oh, geez, that's nice. And there's the Washington Landing. Memorial. Oh, look at that. Landing. It doesn't even look like it. Landing here. Landing Interesting. Here. But yeah. And then, Landing we keep going over here. Landing here. As you can see, the mall. Landing and then that should be the Capitol building, Landing if I'm correct. Or maybe it's the White House. I'm not Landing sure. Here. Landing here. 500. Landing here. Charlie can but yes, it is a building called the Capitol Or. I challenge it. I don't know what. I think it's the White House. Yes. Anyway, let's actually get. I think that purple is a no fly zone. Blue, these. You probably can't feel the vehicle. But anyway, back to back for the National Airport. Okay. The airport was named for John Foster Dole, who served as U.S. Secretary of State from 1953 to 1959. And when the airport was first opened, its one unique feature was that it had special mobile lounges. And it's used to carry passengers from the terminal to the aircraft a quarter mile away. And they were up 17 and a half feet high to transport up to 102 passengers. Today, the airport has 19 mobile lounges and three tunnels that attach directly to the plane of the terminal, like you see in most major airports. The airport has 139 gates and serves 36 airline carriers from around the world. Slight turbulence in the air. The airport has a state-of-the-art security checkpoint that reduces the wait times for travelers. Toronto should really invest in that. The airport has almost 100 retail stores and restaurants, and Concourse B has 13,000 square feet of retail space. Like a mall. The airport has art and photography exhibits, and they also periodically offer live performances by musicians, singers, and dancers. The property of the airport is on covers 11,380 acres, and the airport has 52,846 passengers in 1962, its opening year, and in 2014 it served nearly 21.6 million. Now you can see kind of this mark. You can't see it from here, but just between the tail. That looks like an airport. I'm going to assume that's, a, that's Charleston, and I'm just going to fly towards it and call it a 
I didn't think. What's down? You can see like the river and all that and all that. I'm not sure if it's there. I probably should have figured that out before, but oh well. Anyway. I'm gonna try to remain about a five degree ascent until we get to around 21, 22,000 feet. And once we're there, we're gonna try to stay as level as we can and cruise until we're about 80, 98, 89, 90 nautical miles out of Charleston and we'll begin our final descent. Then once we're around 45, we will radio Charleston and let them know we're coming in. Anyway. Around the 250 nautical mile mark, I will be telling you some more facts about Washington, D.C. Try to spread out all these facts out over the entire video. And then around 150, I'll tell you facts about Charleston. And around 100, I'll tell you about Charleston Executive Airport we are going to be landing at. So you might want to keep it down. Just so you like them. Go skip into the whole video. We are currently about 9,000 feet above sea level. So about 11,000 feet to go. 12,000. Yeah, 12,000. 13. If anyone's here from Reddit, thank you for stopping in, checking these videos out. Very much appreciate your support. And if you like this series and want to see me photo every country, please subscribe and like the video. I'll try to do one every weekend until summer break, and then I do one as much as possible. Did anyone just see that like orange light right in here? Does someone comment down below what that means? Yeah, there it is. Interesting. A descent. Does it go down? No. Oh. When I pull up, it comes up. Interesting. Angle of attack, maybe? I don't know. No, that might actually be it. I just don't want to put the plane in a steep bank up. Let's see. Okay, how far up is it? Okay, because we still got very steep. Angle of attack's not there. Oh, like, oh yeah, I got that angle of attack. Because... Okay, we're going to stall. Passengers, don't worry. Minor, minor inconvenience. You had to avoid an incoming plane. Yeah, that angle of attack because now that my angle of attack is right there. That green thing's on. Check. Yep. Interesting. Now it seems like we're gonna follow this. Yeah. 
Signal airspeed's climbing up again. Okay, I'm actually not gonna, I'm gonna bank towards that thing. Because that thing is my airport. That, not. If I stay on my flight path, that would be correct. Washington Center, Slothano 589er, four flight level 190. Slothano 589er, for Washington Center, continue as planned. Slothano 589er, for your transponder appears inoperative or malfunctioning, reset squawk 5714. Volunteer tree 103 contact, Washington Center. That is something I have never had happen before, and it's very interesting. It won't let me squawk. What the? Slothano 589er, for your transponder appears inoperative or malfunctioning, reset squawk 5714. It won't let me reset squawk. How'd I do that? Oh. I know it's malfunctioning. I can't reset squawk. It won't let me reset squawk. You know, if I have to do a landing at Charleston or no. 
Um. Hey, TC Communications. Calm down. It won't let me. Washington Center, Slothano 5894. Yeah. Is type Cessna C25C, C, two miles southeast of 4 Victor Golf, to flight level 210. Request flight following. Slothano 5894, Washington Center. Squawk 5077. Squawk 5077, Slothano 5894 radar contact, 3 miles northwest of Victor Golf, 2 Let's level out a bit here and try to maintain this altitude. Is that gonna work? Roger, Slothano, 5894. Why have to put altitude hold mode on? Does that work about... Let's see how this up. Happen. Nothing's really. Oh, looks like I'm descending. I am. Okay, autopilot off that. That doing anything? There's autopilot. Autopilot. Okay, what happens now? Okay. Well, we're just gonna make our heading slot 214 and then we're good to go.
November Whiskey Contact, Washington Center on 127 decimal 75. Good day. Going to 127 decimal 75 generic tree November Whiskey. American 180 tree traffic is 6 o'clock 4 miles at flight level 280 generic. Report them in sight. Delta 2070 traffic is 3 o'clock 4 miles at flight level 280 generic. Report them in sight. Endeavor 4794 traffic is 10 o'clock 4 miles at flight level 290 generic. Report them in sight. American 183 have the traffic. Delta 2070 have the generic in sight. Endeavor 4794 have the generic in sight. Amazing if you think about it, like you look down, look all these little like that you kind of see the middle mine, the FL map, it's just like way everywhere. So no, cool. And, like the Canadian Shield, I mean, not that. Canadian Shield has way more like that. So, beautiful basic map. You can see the curvature shape of the other people. Barely any clouds in the Lovely day. Few, but like not their lower clouds. Wonderful day. So what I'm flying, the steps I do before I'm going to not but about 10,000, like, about, like, did I want to be, like, 22,000 feet, around 90,000 feet, I turn the heading truck to where I'm going. And this case is off. We'll try there, just because, anyways, it's all bit it set up, like, 208, set it 208, and then, like, say 22,000 feet comes, I get autopilot. And this, most planes are easy. Just, just a yaw damper, and a rig of it there. And then, I'll click altitude hold mode, so altitude stays level. Because I cannot get it to stay level. And if I do, my hand is killing me after. Because I can, like, pulling it out. 
from the yoke and come back, and then I click the heading to the left button, so it goes in the right direction. Otherwise, it goes off. Even without all the movement, it just will go up or down or up. Weird stuff. We're about 30 minutes into this flight, that apparently it's going to take one to a map about 58 minutes. But maybe because we went off talking, it might be about an hour and a half. So how long ways to go? But, you know, two foot here, and we just go, so that's only not nautical miles. Now, Delta 1, I'm excited for summer vacation. I know I am. Only one more week of school. When you hate when you're flying, and like it's like, change frequencies, and then you get to that, and see they try to go back, and so on and on. Decimal tree for Slothano 5894. The one time I leave for like two minutes is the time they radio to me. Washington Center, Slothano 5894. And we are way past 250. Anyway. Slothano 5894. 
Niner for Washington Center. Continue as planned. Some facts about Washington, D.C., or District of Columbia. George Washington never lived there. And two American presidents kept alligators at the White House, Herbert Hoover and John Quincy Adams. Just gotta make sure it's done, of course. President Jimmy Carter holds the record for most movies watched inside the White House Theater at 408. And people in Washington drink more wine per capita than any other U.S. state. Quite interesting. I don't know what capita means, but... The National Cathedral has many gargoyles, and one of them is, sculpt is the sculpted head of Darth Vader. That is very interesting. You're in Washington, get your binoculars out. The Capitol building has marble bathtubs that were installed in 1859. All these. And there are miles and miles and miles of underground tunnels under the Capitol. There is also a crypt under the Capitol for George Washington, although he was never buried there. DC Metro's second busiest subway system in the United States. And the Washington football team was not originally from Washington, in fact it was from Boston. And there are 19 Smithsonian museums in the city, and the National Bonsai Museum has turned bonsai trees. One of the world's only museums of its kind, the National Spy Museum is located here. That is a museum I would actually go to, because that sounds very interesting. All the roads in the city lead to the Capitol building, because you know they go at angle. I guess they all lead up. Wisconsin tree 857 is at flight level 2900, descending 10,000 feet. Wisconsin tree 857, Washington Center, continue as planned. There is a nuclear fallout shelter under the Washington crypt, and there's actually multiple in the city, and multiple in the U.S. themselves. The city gets more rain on average than Seattle. Very interesting, because Seattle's right on the Pacific Coast, like Vancouver. John Adams was the first president to live in the White House. In the White House, there are 35 bathrooms, 132 rooms, 6 levels, 412 doors, 147 windows, 28 fireplaces, 8 staircases, and 3 elevators. That's a lot. Woodrow Wilson is the only U.S. president buried in Washington. The Library of Congress is the largest library in the world, and the oldest fish market in the U.S. is located in the city. And the Washington Monument is the world's largest obelisk, at 555 feet and 5 and 1 8 inches. Very exact measurement there. Anyways, at 150 nautical miles, I'll tell you some facts about Charleston, North South Carolina. I think, yeah. Or Carolina, not so sure. So, I'm in mean, like 57 more nautical miles. So, probably around uh, 20 minutes. Anyway. Decimal five Slothano five eight nine or four. Washington Center, Slothano five eight nine or four, flight level two zero five. Slothano five eight nine or four, Washington Center, continue as planned.
I think it's pretty windy up here because the plane rocks around quite a bit and you can kind of hear it when you are outside the plane. Yeah, I think that's some signs of windiness. Ladies and gentlemen, we are experiencing some light turbulence. Please put your seatbelts back on and fold up your trays. Isn't it amazing how like all of these buttons are like all these letters and all of these, like they all do something, what they do, I don't know, but just amazing. Like you can even like interact with the screens and stuff.
You know what if I'm really close to put this gears down? No only five seconds up. Like I know that's what they do because it shows you if your gear is working or not. So it's just amazing how like even like a one three five decimal five break yard five seven one two exact. So cool. How do I get the yoke visible again now? There we go. Anyways. Near one forty eight point four five nautical miles out of Charleston. So it's a fifteen minute mark in this video. So let's learn about Charleston, North Carolina. Hotel, one South Carolina. Contact, Center, one Charleston, five, Carolina. Five. Good day. Okay. Charleston was the fourth largest city in colonial America and the wealthiest. Don't know what colonial America is, but cool. One, three, five, Charleston has the first Hotel, public college, six. museum, and playhouse in the U.S. You know, I picked a random place on this map, and Charleston's very interesting. The first golf club in the U.S. was established here in 1787. Long time ago. North America's l longest cable state bridge, the Arthur Ravenel Jr. Bridge, spans in Charleston Harbor. And Dr. Alexander Garden first imported Cape Chasm from South Africa around South Africa around 1754. It has a new name in the U.S. I don't know what I, I saw, but I don't remember what it is. And you know, that's all the facts I got on Charleston, but in 40 nautical miles, we can learn about Charleston Executive Airport. Do you know what back course mode is? I know half bank, it's like, it only lets you bank so it doesn't like suck your passwords. I don't know what this means. I kind of know what this means, I never use that. I know what this means. Approach mode, like connect with my left. Yaw damper, I don't know. I think that's under the auto file. Transfer auto file, I have no clue what that is either. But does anyone know what back course mode is? If you do, let me know, because maybe we can try it out. Definitely some turbulence, look at this fire belt. Bouncing up and down. Good thing I never took time to take the FICO call for me. Jacksonville Center on 128 decimal 7. Good day. Jacksonville, that's way down in Florida. We can close. 128 decimal 7, slow Thano, 5894. Jacksonville Center, slow Thano, 5894, flight level 205. 
Air Canada 1209 or contact Washington Center on 118.475. Good day. Lozano 589er for Jacksonville Center. Continue as planned. 118 decimal for 75 Air Canada 1209er. You can see the coast, each coast. There's a small plane way up here. I don't know if you can see those cursors on the right. You know how to see What is that? Hey, look at this plane. You have no clue where the plane is. Yeah, so we're getting really close. Probably adjust our heading again. Because when I get that, I kind of want to be lined up perfectly. I said 216, or I like 214. We are exactly, okay, not exactly, we're very close to 100 knots miles. Lozano 589 or 4 contact, Jacksonville Center on 133.45. Good day. 133.45, Slothano 589 or 4. Jacksonville Center, Endeavor 5256 is at 17,600 feet, descending 10,000 feet. Jacksonville Center, Slothano 589er, 4 flight level 205. Slothano 589er, 4 Jacksonville Center, continue as planned. Slothano 589er, 4 contact, Jacksonville Center on 128.7. Good day. You gotta be kidding me. 128.7, you are. I go back to Jacksonville Center, Slothano 589 or 4 flight level 205. Slothano 589 or 4 Jacksonville Center, continue and plan. Okay. So Charleston Executive Airport is located 7 miles or 11 kilometers southwest of the city. And the airport has no contact. commercial airline service. Good day. It was opened in April 1943, and it was named back on John's Island Army Airfield, because it was mostly used... It was mostly used with, um, the military as a, like, a satellite kind of thing. Not like, I mean, like, satellite from a different base. Not the satellite of a space. Um, some military aircraft still use the airport, and the airport covers 1,373 acres and has an elevation of 19 feet. And the runways are there's two of them, and they are both made of concrete. We are going to be making a descent into Charleston about six miles nautical miles. Oh. 
We are very close. Hey, we hear a boat. Hey, you know, come on. We're gonna make enough final descent. No, no. Our first descent into Charleston. Get rid of autopilot. I can't get rid of this. I don't know if it's on or not. There, autopilot. Okay, let's get in. Four, five. Gonna okay. do about a five. Or not, first still one there. I hope we get there in time. We have to even go steeper. Going to one three three decimal for five jet blue seven five two. We need to get down low too, because this place is right next to the ocean. Jacksonville Center Jet Blue seven five two is at flight level three three zero, descending one zero thousand feet. I feel like I'm going way too fast. You know, and you don't want to be, because then like, oh, then you stall going to the matter. But, Jacksonville Center, generic November 37315. What happened? I'm in there, and then I'm like, oh, I'm going to have to slow down because I just have the same speed. So, we'll try not to do that. We're going to switch the path. We're going to stay at the same speed because we can cut those engines up to end. Jet Blue 752, contact Jacksonville Center on 133.45. Good day. We're at the hour mark. You know, the trick is like three nautical miles for a thousand feet. And I figured out the map for that one night and then I just can't figure it out again. So I just hope I get there in time. And I did about 21,000 feet last yesterday and I got pretty good until the end. So I'll try it again. And yeah, we're at 66 now, so seems to be going good. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our descent into Charleston, executive. Please put your seatbelt on if not already done, and fold up your trays, food trays. Are they called food trays? What are they called? I was going to call them trays. We are right on the brink of overspeed. Right on the brink. I think this is a good descent speed because we still got 15,000 feet to go. And we're at 15 hour per mile. So, yeah, I'd say it's good. Rivers. Carve a path for the jungle. Not even a jungle. Maybe we get to fly over the Amazon. Well, because I was thinking when you go for South America, you, know, you get Brazil last because it's closest to Africa. And that would be a long video because there's not much to do between Brazil and Africa. South Africa, actually, so like... Maybe we don't get to fly Yeah, because I don't... We wouldn't get to because I was thinking, like, you go for the Caribbean and you end up in Suriname, I want to say. And then you go all the those ones and down Colombia, and then like bottom there, and then you get up for Brazil. How out of time. It really sounds like an alarm beeping, but like, 
the car inside the plane. It's just the engine. The engine's out loud. The thing is, you think the output's going down so fast because you look at this thing on the bottom, right? Second thing on the bottom, right? Because it's going in single, but then you look up here, it's actually not going very fast. I can see if we can find this airport. We'll try not to crash. Charleston Executive. Oh. Charleston Air Force Base. I did not know they had an international airport. It's gonna be right in here. Guaranteed. There we go. There we go. I do not care which one I choose. One way, 22. I like that number. Juliet Zulu India traffic slow Thano 589er 445 miles northeast 11,200 feet inbound to land runway 22. There we go. So far up and feet. You know what? We might have picked this in a bit. A little lower. They don't say you're quick. Unless they like the thing like, I know they have extra controllers, but like. I mean, not this one, but like some airports, like you know, they have them and then they just don't work in the game, which is really annoying. Which I mean, I don't care, but. There's the Atlantic Ocean! And I thought Bermuda was a country until like two days ago when I was looking into it. It's a British overseas territory. So, I'm like, I guess we don't have to fight for the Bermuda Triangle. Twice, because you have to get there and come back, so. Phew! Yeah, I think we're coming in a bit low. Well, I can't like this felt too. Dropping the salt there. your hand and we'll be good. This video was taking a bit longer mainly because we went into it Washington and you know if we do visit southwest of Charleston and move across the Charleston Harbor and see that fancy bridge we talked about. I don't even think they have it so it'll just look like a normal bridge. It won't be anything fancy. You know, I think it was gonna be perfectly fine. I don't. I don't even know if you can hear me whisper. <laughs> My phone probably sucks. You know, it's only like, I'm gonna have time to do the Orlando flight today. Don't, depends how long it is. And like, there's nothing to in Orlando or Charleston, so we direct. We'll see.
He's not just so scary. I guess it's the ocean, like the black and then the blue, like, oh my. Spooky. He might be shopping a bit. We will be touching down. Yeah, this is our final descent. Ladies and gentlemen, we have actually begun our final descent, but not our first descent in the Charleston, so. I do not. Yeah, let's find out the weapon Charleston. Charleston is in South Carolina, what I thought. Okay, currently over in Charleston is 29 degrees and partly cloudy. Very nice, I'd say. No, oh, but they're too steep. So, if people, if this was a patch of light, you'd have a lovely day in Charleston. Oh, that's Charleston Air Force. Jeez, imagine what happens when you don't pay attention. So Charleston Harbor is going to be this. This little blue thing, that's I'm assuming that's Charleston Harbor because it makes sense. This is probably North Charleston at this point, but I know there's a North one. So, I don't know where this bridge is. There's a bridge, there's a bridge. That might be the bridge that actually looks like a ancient kind of bridge. Oh, what a cable. Stay bridges, so I'm gonna assume it looks like a suspension bridge. I'm also gonna assume this pattern. Oh, okay. There's the pattern. So, we can this. You know, this piece of it. Time to get there. I'm gonna stay like this. You know, I'm actually very surprised that engines haven't gone over speed yet. But they were very close when they never did actually going down. Oh my. You know, I'm not gonna like enter way over there, I'm gonna enter by right over here. Yeah, it's definitely Charleston Harbor, and the bridge must be over there. I'm not about to find out where it is, because it won't look in. Went through just the Puerto Rico bridge. What is this city? You know, I think I'm a bit high. How did you down? Landing gear. I'm not landing. Landing gear. Landing gear. Landing gear. Let's keep that engines up. I don't want to. No landing gear. The thing is, like, these patterns are nice, but, like, they don't exactly tell you. Like, this should be a sign, like, you're not going to go, ooh. We're not going to put those last set of flaps down until we're ready to that box. On friendly south, and they don't take off that. They don't. 
we're not going to send the cockpit for the landing. I mean, because it's not a very No. Happy. What? There. Front wheel needs to be down. There we go. I need to just walk in. All times I forget to check it off, I just hope it's down. Two-A is done. Two B, two C, and then round it. Mexico City was a stop in Cancun, Cancun and actually I don't know if it's been there. There'll be other stops. I figured it out. I feel like it doesn't look tired. I don't even. Oh, there's one. I thought it was too I know I'm too fast. Coming in hot, hot and high. This is not going to be a good landing. Because I'm going to stall. There we go. Just it a little. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not a stall. Look how smooth that was. That was one of my smoothest landing jets. And by the time I get to end it, I'm not sure how good they'll be. We just want to talk about the two There we go, we did it. Whoop. There, battery off. I actually remember how to turn this engine. You think I remember how to do it though? No. Okay. Oh, chance. There you go. I don't know what I did, but... Anyways. Thank you very much for joining me. If you liked this video, please subscribe for getting to Orlando and then eventually Havana, Havana, Cuba, Havana, Havana. Anyway, thank you very much for joining me on this lovely flight and maybe I'll see you on the next leg. Please subscribe, like, and yeah. Right, adios.